hello viewers welcome to my channel connect civilians so in this lecture we will see how to design a square slow footing for a square column okay so using the excel sheet we are going to design the square slow footing for a square column so these are the data that we have to change according to our design so our load is, is so you have to change the initial service load that is so dead load plus live load so you which uh, you can get from the structural softwares like stead any type okay so for general building it will be considered for g plus 2 around 8 500 to 800 kilonewton okay but here our design data is according to our design data our service load is 550 kilonewton so your factor load will be coming as 825 kN. Okay. Our SBC of soil is 220. This will be the safe bearing capacity of soil you can get from the geotechnicals. Or you can also get uh, from the code. Okay. So according to that you can fill according to your soil condition either it is medium, soft or clay. Okay and here your column size here to provide your column uh, square column size here so our size will be 450 is okay okay if you will change 230 here so your next size your width will directly changes okay so here you have to change only 450 our column is 450 unit weight of soil is 18 that will be okay depth of the footing is 1.5 here we are considering 1.3 meter grade of concrete of for footing is 20 and grade of con uh, concrete for column so grade of footing is 25 here and grade of concrete for column is 20 so why we are taking the grade of column also it will help you in the design of transfer of load that will be the last step for the square footing i will show you now grid of steel what grid you have to consider for the reinforcement here you have to put either it is 415 or 500 that will be according to you self weight of footing so here you have to insert the percentage that you are going to consider for the self weight of footing so this will be the initial percentage you have to consider okay and after all the calculation you have to see either your self weight considered will coming uh, will be less or more okay if it is uh, more that will be okay if this uh, self-weight assume self-weight is less than our our uh, uh, taken size self-weight then we have to increase the self-weight again okay here but for initial value we are going to consider up to 10 percent of our service load okay so self-weight of soil will coming as 23.4 kilonewton and total weight including self weight is coming coming as 605 kN. Now area of footing is 2.75. So your length and width of your footing will come as 1.66 and 1.66 as it is a square footing. So it is coming. So you can also design the rectangular footing for a square column or a rectangular column for a square footing. That will be also correct. Okay. That was not uh, necessary to put the rectangular footing for a rectangular column or a square footing for a square column okay but at a starting phase it will be good practice to consider the uh, uh, for a square column you have to consider the square footing and for rectangular column you have to consider rectangular footing but sometime on inside condition what will happen you don't get much with according to your dimension so you have to increase one of the length and you have to decrease an, uh, another side at the corner or edges of footing so that will also be a condition i will upload any other excel sheet for that video okay but here it will be okay you have to consider the square footing for a square column now our length and width will coming as 1.68 and 1.63 you have to consider uh, here what value you have to consider take for the length and width of the footing 
so i am going with 2.5 this will be okay and 2.5 this will be okay why we are considering more because if you go for one way and two way check that will going to fail if you take this size the accurate size so you have to just go the higher value than this okay so I, if it is coming 1.6 so i am going with 2.5 you can also go with 2 meter okay and check either it was okay or not okay so i am going also with 2 meter only let we will see either it is passing or not now this will be your figure of your footing so this will be the plan of your footing so, so here this plan is showing that the offset is not provided what will be offset this if you see the section this will be your offset okay so here in plan it was showing that no offset is provided but you can also provide the offset here okay i will show step by step so now we have considered a length and width of the footing as 2 meter by 2 meter so provided area is coming as 4 meter it will show you okay so you can uh, proceed further when net upward pressure is coming as 138 kN per meter square this will also be okay and your gross soil pressure is coming as 183 and this will be also okay so this gross soil pressure check you can go after giving the total depth okay after that you can check whether it will show you okay or not where you can if here you have to insert your overall depth and check either it was okay or not okay if it is okay then you can proceed for the for the design now it, on, uh, here we can only go we are going with the net upper pressure this will be okay so we can pr proceed further here your bending moment calculation is going so we have already done the manual calculation for the rectangular slope footing so the procedure will be same okay so you can check for the for, for if you want to check the manual calculation for the rectangular footing uh, square footing the procedure will be same only the design step for the depth calculation differs so we, i will also upload the manual calculation if you want you can comment me okay here you will be calculated as 275 kN per meter and now your ultimate moment will be 123 this is critical section this is 0.775 meter okay the cantilever portion is called a critical section okay so this will be your critical uh, cantilever portion okay so it will coming 0.775 and your ultimate bending moment is coming as 123 now you can go here you have to provide both the values so the colored boxes you have to fill by yourself okay so offset of the footing is so here we have not providing any offset if you see this plan so this plan is without the offset okay and if you see the section this if you provide the offset this will be your offset okay i will show you the let's assume you will fill the offset as 75 mm okay so what will be the offset this will be offset so it will show you 75 okay and if you don't want to use the offset just go directly so put it zero so this offset will be sorry this offset will be zero so what will happen this uh, footing will directly meet to the column position okay no offset will be increased on both the sides but this is not a good, good practice according to your structure engineer so you have to provide the offset okay so i am going with the offset only provide 75 and no offset this will be okay and is that depth assume so here you have to provide the depth of the lower portion this will be your edge depth okay so 300 we are going that will be okay yeah 300 this will be also okay and your width will be 600 mm by 6 is 600 mm if you don't provide the offset it could, if you go to zero then your width will be only the size of the column but if you provide the offset so it will have the offset on both the sides of the column that is 450 plus 60 of this side of offset and plus 60 of this side of offset okay so 
so width of the resistance section will come as 600 mm the moment is 123.8 kN per meter these all detail will be used for the calculation of your effective dye according to the formula according to the steel that we have taken so it will come as 245 mm so effective depth is coming 245 so according to this you have to provide the overall dimension uh, sorry overall depth so i am going with 600 of overall depth okay also go with only 500 let's assume go for 400 first okay so this will be overall depth okay what will be your overall depth i will show you here so this total depth is your overall depth okay and this one is your edge depth so now overall depth is 400 cover we have provided at the bottom was 50 mm the bar of first layer will be 10 mm that is the orange bar and the of bar of second layer is 10 mm that is for green bar okay you can also go with 12 mm according to your requirement so i am also going with 12 mm now your effective depth for x and y will be 344 332 both are safe here you can uh, proceed for that if it will show you not safe you have to increase this let's assume if you decrease so it will show you not safe so you have to increase this okay here it is safe we can go further in the reinforcement calculation now along x direction so for lower layer it is calculating right now now if you will see here our st required is calculating as 1094 and our minimum st is 840 mm is this will be your minimum st minimum okay so here number of bar required is coming as 10 number so according to this you have to fill by your own just go with 10 let's see it will show you okay here but here it will show you not okay in the spacing is uh, formula so you have to increase one more bar now it is showing you okay your clear spacing is coming at 177 and and your spacing should be less than 180 that's why it is showing you not okay okay i am going with 12 bars okay let's go with 12 bars more safer values okay so now our spacing is coming at 160 this will be good now you can go for bar in y direction that is green bar here so you don't have to change just you have to check okay it is not or not okay either it is showing okay or not here you have to check the number of bar required it is coming as 10 just put it here 10 what you are giving to 10 so it will showing you not okay again increase the bar 11 that will be okay here also here also but our clear spacing is coming as 177 so you can again increase the bar one more it will show you 160 this will be more safer and accurate okay so i am going with 12 bars on both the sides in x and y direction okay you can also go with 11 bar if you want it is also safe but spacing is coming at 177 that's why i am just increasing a bar to decrease the spacing where it is coming at 160 and our maximum spacing is 180 that we can provide for fp415 so I, that's why i have decreased the spacing because on inside condition it was not a prop uh, it was not a good to, to provide the spacing so accurately at 177 so it can go with 180 or more that's why i am going with higher bar so uh, less spacing will come so that can be easily provided okay so go, i am going with 12 bar on both the direction that is 12 mm of bar and 12 number of dia bar on both the sides okay now everything is okay right now here in red boxes it was okay further you can proceed for check for one way now check we have already done the check for both the directions okay here you have to only change your tau c dash and tau c dash where you can get you can get from is 456 so here you have to only fill your tau c dash from is 456 table number 19 this will be your table on page number uh, 
so here you have to fill the tau c dash value that is design shear strength values from the table so our percentage still is coming as 0 0.398 what you have to do here you have to just paste like this 0 0.398 here you have to change again okay so here only you have to paste that is select this box equal to 0.39 percent of steel equal and here it is coming and you have to also check the grade of concrete so our grade of concrete is m25 for footing what grade we are using for footing you have to put there okay so our grade is uh, 25 and our percent of steel is 0 0.398 so here you have to check in between which your percent of steel is coming 0 0.398 is coming between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 here okay so you have to fill 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 and grade of concrete so we are taking m25 so for m 0.25 it is 0 0.36 and 0 0.49 for 0 0.50 so 0 0.36 0 0.49 0 0.36 and 0 0.49 now our value is coming as 0 0.437 437 so here what happened it will show you not okay as your design shear strength is coming more than your nominal shear strength it is coming as 0 0.473 okay so what you have to do here either you can increase the size or you can increase the depth of the footing okay so it was showing you not of shape so you have to increase your depth of the footing or you can also increase your number of steels if you want okay so just increase the number of steel I am going with uh, 14 number of bars okay on both the sides 14 numbers okay so here if you see percent of steel is coming as 0 0.464 so 0 0.464 is coming between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 only so we are going with the same value now our interpolated value will coming as 0.471 so here you have to fill 0.471 and okay okay here your value for nominal is still coming a little bit higher 0.473 and here it is coming 0.47 again you can increase the bar if you want so you have three choices either you can increase the size of the footing or you can increase the depth of the footing or you can increase the number of bars so i'm increasing number of bars okay 15 number of bars we are going right now we are going with 15 number and our interpolated value is coming up and percentage still is coming 0 0.497 which is still coming between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 so you don't have to change any values and but or we have to see the interpolated value 0 0.489 0 0.489 you have to change now this value is safe okay also i hope you understand how it is coming now it is coming as 0 0.489 which is greater than our nominal shear step 0 0.473 that's why it is safe so you have to do this step again and again okay for y direction we can also check our percentage still is coming 0 0.526 so 0 0.526 is coming between 0 0.50 and 0 0.75 okay 0 0.50 and 0 0.75 and one more thing and our m25 is coming for 0 0.50 is 0 0.49 and 0 0.57 so 0 0.49 and 0 0.57 okay a value is coming 0 0.498 0 
ओके तो अगर अगेन वी हैव टू डू द सेम प्रोसीजर फॉर वाइड डायरेक्शन इट इज कमिंग एज फाइव वन वन तो यू हैव टू इंक्रीज फॉर वाइड डायरेक्शन यू हैव टू इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ बार को विथ सिक्सटीन नंबर ऑफ बार नाउ इट इज कमिंग जीरो पॉइंट ओके लेट्स यू फाइव टू सिक्स वाई फाइव सिक्स वन इज कमिंग जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन जीरो इज कमिंग फॉर दिस ओके still it is not save as the value will be equal so go with 17 number of bar 0.597 is coming your interpolator value is coming as 0.521 now it is save okay so 0.597 is still come between 0.50 and 0.75 that's why we have taken the interpolator value directly So 0.521 in y direction also. So now it is safe. So both in x and y direction for one mass here is safe. You can proceed further. What we have done, we have just increased the number of bars in both the direction. So we are going with 15 number of bars in x direction and this one, and that is the orange bar. Okay, in x direction and the green bar in y direction. Okay, it is coming a 17 number. So we have to provide that 12 mm dia of bar. At spacing of 135 in x direction and 12 mm of bar at spacing of 180 center to center in y direction. Okay. Now we have to also go for check for two way. So here you don't need to change any values. Just you have to check either it is safe or not. So this for two way check your uh, uh, formula will changes. So you have to check tau c dash is equal to k s into tau c. So all the values will be automatically calculated. You have to only see whether it is safe or not. Okay. So it is safe right now. You can further proceed, and you can also check for transfer load at base. So either it is in the double bar is required for the transfer load or not. Okay. So what will be double bar? I will show you. So this. Blue bar is called a double bar, okay? Which is coming from column and bent into a fourteen like this, okay? This will be a double bar. Now, okay, here it is showing you safe, okay? No double bar needed, no double bar needed. So, at the base of the column it is safe, and at the top of the fourteen it is also safe. So, no double bar needed for both the checks. So. So you have to provide the minimum double bar, double bar, okay? Which is 0.5 into dimension of your footing, okay? Divided by 100. So here you have to only give the uh, double double bar that you have to provide, and number of bar it will calculate. So for if you provide 20 mm double bar. The so number of bar is coming as three, so you can also go with 16 mm double bar. Now it is coming as 15, or you can go with 12 mm double bar. Now it is coming as nine. Okay, so I'm going with 16 mm double bar. So you have to provide five number of 16 mm double bar at the junction of column and footing. This blue bar is you have to provide like this. Okay, so now. It, This will be okay. So, so your final weight of the footing is coming at 34.63, which will be safe. Okay. So, if it show you not safe, what you have to do? You have to increase the self weight at the starting here. That we have considered 10%. Let's assume we have considered 2%. Okay. I will show you here. If you go with 2%, see here. It will show you increase the self weight of the footing. So that's why I am going with 10%. Okay. This will be okay, and it will show you. This will be safe. Okay, so if you have provided 10 percent, still it is showing you not safe. So you, you, what you have to do? You have to increase the self weight of the footing at the starting, and you have to again repeat the procedure that we have done. Okay, so this will be safe.
now you can go for development and check here it will show you according to die of bar that is coming from column so so our column die of bar is 16 mm stress will be coming grade of the bar design bond stress is coming according to the grade of your according to the grade of the concrete and this 1.6 so we are using hpd bar so we have increased the value by 60 percent okay LD is coming as 1052. Your side cover is 60 mm. Go with 50 mm. We are going with 50 mm. Okay, so our level length is 725 is coming. So it will show you not sufficient. So if it is showing you not sufficient, that doesn't mean that you can provide the development length. One thing you have to do only that you have to bend at the end. Okay. Or for safer side, what you have to do? You have to increase the column size. But if you don't uh, don't get much uh, larger place for increase of the column size, what you have to do? You have to bend the bar like this to provide the required development length. It as it is coming 752, and our available length is from here to end is coming as. 725 only so at the end you have to bend how green bar is bent so you have to bend to fulfill the development length requirement okay so i hope you understand this will be okay right now so now you can go at the top and check what size overall that you have provided what cover you have provided what diode bar you have provided for first and second layer okay and what is still you have to provide in x direction and in y direction so this be your first layer that is 12 mm dial bar at 135 mm center to center and this be your second layer that is 12 mm dial bar at 180 mm center to center okay so here it is showing you and here in figure also it is showing how you have to provide the bar or if you want to go more safer what you have to do you have to provide you can provide 12 mm dial bar at 118 mm center center for both the bars okay and if you are going with the design you can just directly go with the values that is 12 mm dial bar at 118 mm center center for y direction and 12 mm dial bar at 135 mm center center for x direction okay so these all the figures that here we have shown you for check for one way and two way what value we have taken <coughs> how many distance it will take for the one way check that is a distance t and for two way that is a distance t by two and this will be your section of the plan what we have taken the edge depth okay what is our total depth what is the effective depth okay and what is the offset of the footing and what will be our column size and this is diagram for check for two way what value you have taken okay and this will be diagram for the calculation of your self weight of the footing as it is it is trapezoidal so you have to find that trapezoidal area so all the values will be shown here okay so this figure also help you to understand how it still will be provided how values will be calculated okay so i hope you can easily design your square slope footing for a square column easily and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel Okay, thank you and I will provide the link of this video in the description so you can also download it. Okay, thank you.